In this video we'll be taking a look at some of the most expensive guitars available for sale on Reverb. Some of these prices are absolutely eye-watering. Fasten your seat belts, let's check them out. Our first guitar is a Fender Strat going for an astonishing $313,345. This isn't any ordinary Strat however. In 2020 a collaboration between brand Hype Beast and Fender resulted in this made in Japan Strat which is painted in Hype Beast's signature navy shade. With only 24 of these models created and available for $1,600 on release in 2020. The listed model on Reverb is number 21. The seller could clock in over $300,000 in profit if this beauty sells. At number 2 we have a 1985 Gibson J200 acoustic guitar from the legendary Dave Gilmore collection. With such a high profile association this guitar is fetching $376,716 on reverb. This J200 is number 42 of 90 and was previously owned by John Elsley of Dire Straits fame. Acquired by Dave Gilmore in 1994 to use on the Pink Floyd Division Bell Tour. The guitar was sold as part of a wider Dave Gilmore collection for a whopping $21 million, with that money going towards helping fight climate change. Our third guitar is Eddie Van Halen's prototype PV Flat Top Wolfgang guitar. The guitar was built by Jim DeCola in 1995 for Eddie and was referred to as the Flat Top before the name special was introduced. The guitar was used in the studio by Eddie and was pictured on the April 1996 cover of Guitar World magazine, held by Billy Corgan, alongside Eddie. This legendary rock axe is listed for a measly $220,757.49. A bargain. Our fourth guitar is a PRS that the main man himself described as the most important guitar he's ever built. We are talking about the PRS Carlos Santana Custom Double Neck Guitar in Vintage Yellow. This guitar was part of Paul Reed Smith's desire to launch the PRS brand, and this guitar, along with others designed for Carlos Santana, helped turn PRS into the brand it is today. That backstory and the associated name put the price of this beauty at $179,138.03. Our next guitar is a masterpiece. The Great Wall by master and lay artist, Harvey Leach. Harvey is well known for his work with Martin Guitars, being called upon to create some of their most spectacular inlays on models such as the Da Vinci, the Martin Cowboy Classic, and the Martin Hot Rod. This Great Wall took four years, and that comes with a hefty price tag, $184,405.75. Our next item is a collection of items. For $383,080.72 you can walk away with not one, but eight of Eric Clapton's custom shop and limited edition guitars produced by Fender, Gibson and Martin since 1995. There is also a 40-watt Fender custom shop twin a Lux C thrown in for good measure. We've listed all of the items in this collection on the screen so you can pause and have a good look. Our final guitar is a $376,012.15-1960 Gibson Les Paul, played by Tony Hicks of the Hollies. The most expensive individual item on the list. This guitar, an icon of the 20th century and a design classic. The Les Paul, and in particular, the standard produced between 1958 and 1960 has come to define the electric guitar in the eyes and ears of the general populace. Placed on a pedestal, these are the benchmark by which all are judged and found lacking. Purchasing this will also likely lead to your bank balance also lacking. So there we have it, eye-watering guitars at eye-watering prices. Links to each listing are in the description.